Back to Harbaugh. The White House is not letting up in its criticism of Romney's time at Bain Capital. At three events today and yesterday, President Obama hit Romney over a Washington Post article from last week. The Post story showed Bain was heavily invested in companies that were considered pioneers of sending American jobs overseas, pioneers of shipping our jobs away. The attacks continued, beginning with new ads re- released in Iowa, Ohio and Virginia, all hit the same note. Take a look at this ad running for Obama in Virginia. President Romney's first 100 days, creating thousands of new jobs for Virginians. But would he? The Washington Post has just revealed that Romney's companies were pioneers in shipping U.S. jobs overseas, investing in firms that specialized in relocating jobs done by American workers to new facilities in low-wage countries like China and India. Does Virginia really want an outsourcer-in-chief in the White House? Well, that's digging in there. Is there any indication that these attacks are working? You bet. There's a new NBC Wall Street Journal poll I mentioned just out today that offers some clues. Chuck Todd's the NBC News political director and chief White House correspondent. And Maggie Haberman is senior political writer for Politico. We got some good voices here. Chuck, you are my guru in this stuff. Is the fight and the attack on Bain, which has now been going on for months, showing pay dirt. Is it working? Well, first of all, let's separate out. When you look at at our poll overall, and we're going to have more numbers later and all this stuff, but what you see is everything went bad for the president as far as the global picture of the economy. And so you would have thought that in these polls you would have seen him take a hit. Well, he hasn't. Why? Because the paid media campaign that's taking place in the battleground states is uh, is working for the for the Obama campaign. They're winning that front. And now most of the negative ads right now against Romney have been more about his record. You haven't seen a lot of the Bane. They are pivoting to Bane now in paid TV ads. What's his record besides Bane? A lot of it. It's hitting him on his Massachusetts record. The 47th and Bob Bush. It's that private sector ad where they say, hey, look at this. He made the same promise to Massachusetts that he is now. And it was an ad that they ran over and over again. I think what you see out of our poll and some other polls is that you think, geez, the weight of the bad economy should be hurting the president. But he's holding up. And Romney's taken on water, too. They're both taken on water, but they both are. And that's because the paid media campaign of Team Romney's working. Now, as for Bain, I think it's clear that they believe it works. And look where they're running it. Okay. Okay. Iowa, Ohio. Okay. Let's look at this point, uh, Chuck, you're making here. According to the new NBC Wall Street Journal poll, Barack Obama has a sizable lead over Mitt Romney in the 12 swing states across the country. Uh, Obama's up by eight points in those 12 states. Is this a leading or lagging indicator? My standard old question. What's ahead? The national numbers or these uh, these uh, battleground numbers? Well, I think the battleground numbers, and you're seeing, uh, seeing them ahead. come in. I think they're a little bit of ahead because they're the ones, they're experiencing the campaign. You know, we in the Acela Corridor, we watch from atop, right, atop of the trees and all this stuff. It's the folks in Ohio, okay. Florida, and Virginia. They're feeling this it. This isn't new, Maggie. We grew up in America where ever since Andy Jackson, the, the people who live in the middle part of the country, resented the East Coast bankers. This is the old populist reality of America that goes right. way back to hating the banks, hating, you know, free silver, William Jennings Bryan. Is, are we seeing a modern post-industrial version of that? Really, I call it Scranton Oshkosh. It's the, it's the Rust Belt. There's another un, unlikable term. But it's all those guys out there that go to Bears games. They go to Green Bay games. They go out in cold weather. The root for football t- teams. They're semi-skilled or skilled workers. They're scared to death of foreign competition. They hate outsourcing. They hate the idea you pick up the phone, you got to call India to get an answer. Are these the people that Obama is, is, is going after when he attacks Bain? Oh, absolutely. Look, I don't think it's full-throated Brianism, but I think it is certainly an attempt to do that. Uh, I think that the Bain attack, as, as Todd said, they say it's working. I do think where we have seen more paid media, certainly by the Obama campaign, oh. has been on this Massachusetts ad, but the uh, pro-Obama Super PAC Priorities USA Action has done about $10 million of only Bain ads, and only in five states, five swing states. So I do think there is evidence that both attacks are taking a toll. Mm. This is what Democrats have always said it was going to be, an aggregate effect over time. And if Romney is not going to defend against these attacks, it will start to take a toll. The, con- the converse is that the economy is bad, as Chuck said, and so Obama is not gaining ground either. But we've just escaped what was a very rough month for President Obama I and know. Romney's best month of the year. And basically, the needle really has not moved, uh, certainly not in Romney's favor. And those swing state numbers are very interesting. Well, now we heard from the tanks and those ads. Here comes the artillery, or rather, well, the artillery. Here's Joe Biden in Iowa today making the same points that are running in the pro-Obama ads about Bain. Let's watch. Here's the bottom line, folks. Bain and their companies, they made a great deal of money facilitating this outsourcing. 
and offshoring American jobs. Yeah, they made a lot of money, but in the process, they devastated. They devastated whole American communities. You got to give Mitt Romney credit. He's a job creator in Singapore, China, <laughs> India. He's been very good at creating jobs overseas. So Mitt Romney is a punchline now. This is rough stuff. And this is, look, Jerry Seib wrote a great column today and saying, you know, Mitt Romney's path to victory, he has to win one of these sort of longtime Democratic blue states that have always been contested, but Republicans have come up short. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Take one of those three. And I was one of the other ones. And I tell you, this outsourcing stuff, this oh, is something, killer. it can be a killer against somebody. I'm, I'm with them one, putting the knife in on this one. But here's, well, I want to put together three challenges. He seems to be winning, according to the polling coming out tonight on the, on the network and at Wall Street Journal. He seems to be winning the case against Bain and the fact that it's an outsourcing job that kills American jobs, sends them overseas. But let's look at this number is the second question I, I bring in there. Here's Obama with some problems that we've known about before among working class white voters, if you will. I hate getting sectarian, but they're white working class voters in the same poll. Look at that. 31 percent of white working class. In other words, non-college people. Maggie, that's a terrible number for a guy who wants to get reelected president. This is a real problem for Obama, and this is why he is doing the disqualifier on Mitt Romney. Don't believe that he'll make things better for you than me. I think what's uh, very interesting is, you know, you're seeing Obama trying to counter this right with his base. He's trying to counter it with black and Hispanic voters, women voters, younger voters. He is running a totally base election. It is not very much toward the middle at all. Very notable. But what happened to the white working class that were the base of the Democratic Party for 200 years? Uh, this has been a lot of erosion for a while. It's been a problem for Obama for the last four years. This is not a group he did very well with in the primaries in 2008, as you know. This has I never know. been a group that's liked him particularly. Uh, he it's is Clinton not country and it's Reagan Correct. Democrats. Well, and but it's wait also, a minute. Remember, they abandoned, they abandoned Bill Clinton in 94. Oh, let's not forget that's this. True. They abandoned... They, they, these folks have been skittish Democrats, frankly, ever since McGovern. So well, you're okay. interesting me right. as a pro Clinton guy. No, 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 but they've been uh, okay. skittish about. They've been. Re, they've abandoned the Democrats. So it's, it's gradual. It's been going it's been on. It's gradual. Okay, Let's not uh, forget. Uh, okay, that. okay, so. But what about the problem with Romney himself? Looking into your poll data today, and I've been studying, it's fantastic. It turns out there's roughly, maybe I'm getting ahead of some of the numbers here, but when it comes down to when you get all the numbers together, one in six people really want to vote for Romney to be president of the United States. Right. One in six. No, it's, Everybody else is fighting over whether they like the president right. or not and the job performance. Yeah. But such a small percentage have glommed onto this guy and say, he's my guy. One in six, 15%. Yeah, this was the John Kerry problem. Remember, he, he, has co he has coalesced the anti-Obama, the anti-incumbent. He has gotten but that But don't vote. you have to like the guy you and, like president? Well, I think that's, he's testing that that's theory. The, that's the question, and right? This he's is, testing This is theory. Nixon's, I, I say this in my comments at the end, the last guy that snuck into the presidency, Nixon not that he, 68. was Nixon, who got elected because the Democrats were in this Michigas, this complete confusion in hell in Chicago when we had a war that everybody hated, and Nixon come, come creeping in. Barely, by the way. Barely. I mean, Ma Maggie, think about the, what do you think when you look at the numbers and it shows whites off the president, 31% of non-college whites for the president, and yet Yet the other guy, the other guy, the Republican, Mitt Romney, looks right, I suppose. There's nothing really unethical about the guy. And yet nobody seems to like him. Well, One in six voters are for him. Well, That's it, so amazing. Chuck said it very well. I mean, this is this is the analog to Bush Kerry, right? It's the exact same thing. And it, it, it it's not really clear to What's me. What's an that analog it, mean? What's well, that mean? <laughs> it's the it is the it's the parallel, right? I mean, we're okay, looking at the, the, the dynamic except sorry, I'm sorry. Let me go back that way. <laughs> you guys um, are always using <laughs> these new words. Go ahead. <laughs> but you know, the, this is where uh, the Romney campaign is making a test. He does not want to take policy positions. He doesn't want to touch on certain issues that would fill out, you know, the frame of his Can personal life. Can he hide life. from I that think, in November? I think it's extremely difficult. Their bet is there are going to be a series of bad jobs reports that are going to make it possible, but that's a serious bet. There might that be he can one, actually come in as Brand X, that he's an that. alternative to the guy in there. That's all he needs to say. I'm, I'm different than I'm this not, guy. I'm not Obama. It, I don't know if you can win a presidential race that way. It's their bet. They believe that Bill Clinton never really fully convinced voter, right. voters to be for him in 92, that essentially he was just not Bush 41. And if you look at where the direction of the country was at that time, 70 plus percent uh, thought we were going to I can look at those debates. A, a good, with, he uh, was look, masterful. Well, and I, but and that's right, that's the difference, though, is yes. that is Bill Clinton is a very different politician than Mitt Romney is. So. But and he stepped Romney forward for that African-American woman who Bush right. couldn't even understand how to yeah. talk to. And he came out and embraced her yeah. emotionally. But that's what the, the Romney people are betting. This is 92 and 80. Yeah. Right. And they don't need okay. to do that much. But I have to tell you one thing I, I'm learning from our poll. You're seeing a different... The two parties 
they're hardening in this new coalition, if you will, okay. of minorities and college-educated whites for Obama and base and everybody else for Romney. And guess what? That's what we're we're headed to this. I don't like that America. Election. That is a divided America. By the way, America. when the young people vote as much as the older white people, I'll be surprised. Well, that's there's that's no the, evidence that's happening. I know that's the problem. <laughs> it's rather, as Joe Scarborough said, don't vote on young people because in the end they got other things to do that day. And that's and maybe not this time. And it wasn't true in 2008, but I do worry about that. Anyway, thank you, Chuck Todd. All right, guys. My guru. And thank you, Maggie Haberman. Keeping up with Chuck. He's the best. <laughs>